Fast and Loud has built multiple strong cars in the Gas Monkey garage. Fast and Loud has been made famous by the contribution of a lot of people on the team, and would be unjust if we forgot to mention Sue. Speaking of Sue, what is she up to these days? Well, let's find out. Yes, the same crazy ASM Auto upholstery business owner, Sue, who worked on the Gas Monkey garage for a long time. To give you a little background on the show, Richard Rawlings started out the Gas Monkey Garage in Dallas, Texas to start restoring old cars into customized, beautiful works of art. He then sells these cars to the people who are ready to pay a good amount of money for them. Usually, these people are art collectors who are interested in collecting vintage cars. The show also gives people the opportunity to travel with Richard and accompany him during his journeys throughout the United States. As he searches for broken, unwanted vehicles, he often comes across potential masterpieces that will require months of hard work and repair until they can't be recognized by the original owners anymore. Like other shows, Fast and Loud was also able to make some great deals due to the excellent crew that was on board with them. Sue was one of the people who made sure that everybody on the set as well as the audience was kept entertained. She would joke around with Richard Rawlings and call him Ass Monkey as a pun on the name of his garage. She would also ask him why he brings her junk instead of beautiful cars, and this banter ensured the good quality of an episode. Fans of the show got so used to having her that her mere presence on an episode meant that it was going to be a great one. Apart from her temper that made her presence entertaining, she was also a pro at her job. Sue knew how to deal with cars, be it heavy cars or vintage pieces that needed a lot of work. Sue was born into a family of farmers where she got her incredible work ethic from. Anyone who has worked with Sue knows that she takes her tasks extremely serious and would go to any extent to make sure that her work is up to the mark and ready to go. Sue is not the kind of person who jokes about their professional ethics. Fun aside, she ensures the good quality of her projects and never disappointed the fans who always waited for her to get a project on their favorite show. Sue learned how to work hard at a very young age. Growing up, she developed a side skill of becoming an upholsterer, and later, she realized that this was an industry she never wanted to break ties with. She kept working in different fields throughout her life to help build beautiful cars until she came across an opportunity she had been waiting for. Sue found an upholstery company that was going bankrupt in Texas and knew it was her calling to make the big life decision. After spending a good $45,000 and moving into a 1,000 square foot garage, she named it ASM Auto Upholstery. Sue had owned the business for more than 30 years now. She calls her workspace her second home as Sue spends about 14 hours every day in her garage. She's an absolutely crazy hard worker who put all her energy into building her business from scratch. She would even work for 24 hours a day to make her business independent enough to run on its own. It was the fruit of her hard work that a company that was going bankrupt started working and generating revenue for her. Her hard work also helped her build a sound reputation as more and more people started trusting her work and thus she finally found an audience. She then moved into 2,000 square foot garage across the street which was proof of her business running well. It was after her move when Richard came across her and he ran a shop right down the street. He had heard not only about her work but also about her bubbly personality and that's how they started off as friends and she later joined the crew to work with him on Fast and Loud. However, unlike the multiple people that worked regularly on his Gas Monkey garage, it is difficult for Sue to manage both his garage and hers. Thus, she decided to step away from the show for a while, though her separation from Fast and Loud had nothing to do with Richard Rawlings. There are still great friends who enjoy each other's company and like to spend some quality time together. So the fans who were worried that Sue might have had a quarrel with Richard and his team can relax, as there's no such thing as a fight between the two parties. You can see Sue happily running her own company. And that's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Give us your feedback in the comments and check out more videos on our channel. We'll see you next time.